fucked up, dude. So what so, are we, what's everybody like doing for, for Christmas? What's everybody, yeah. Mm, well, my family always gets together on Christmas Eve, and we do a white elephant, and... Is that the same thing as... Uh, like secret, secret Santa? Like, oh, but with alcohol, right? Uh, no, it's like everyone just brings a gift. It doesn't have any names on it, and then you pick one, or you can steal a gift, and you oh. go around, and it takes five fucking hours, and it's... Uh, I don't know. Holiday cheer, magic, all that. In my work, they said it's white elephant because because it's strictly alcohol. I don't know why. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds way better than my office is white elephant. Where they they explicitly said no alcohol. And it's like, oh, shit. Now I got to find something else because I was just going to buy a bottle, put it in a bag. The end. You go by cousins. That's what we do with my family. There's all, there's all the cousins uh you know, at my aunt, Ma, Anthony Patty's, we just uh, all give little gifts to the cousins. Oh, that's wait for white elephant or just we, in we, general? It's just a, like a grab. Go- okay. Oh, secret Santa. It's so, business, like, you get a name and then you have to get them gifts. Yes. Okay. Uh, I do Godfather, Godmother, and then just immediate family, is what we do for, like, oh, gifts. Just, well, um, well, unfortunately, I have to work this year again on Christmas. So, but usually, what my family usually do on Christmas Eve. I go to my dad's. We do open gifts. Your real dad, not my, my dad. real dad. We go, yeah, we go, to, we go to my dad's. We open gifts. We hang out. We had breakfasts. Is he the dentist or the floor? The dentist. Okay. And then we go to my aunt Patty's, um, who is my godmother, and on the, we like eat and we drink and then we open presents and then we drink some more. Is she cute? She's sixty years old, small and. Very, very uh, mother- motherly. Uh, so yes, that's what I'm looking for. Those gilfs. You stay away from my go- my godmother. I'll beat your crap out of you, boy. Well, then I'll go to the Rubino dentist to get everything filled in. Mm. I already got like three fake teeth. You're looking for a dentist? My dad will hook you up. You have good. Nah, man, I'm good. All right. <laughs> He'll give you those gold teeth. The for, grills? Yeah, for two thousand a tooth. Is it two thousand a tooth? I think I'm doesn't oh, well no insurance doesn't cover it because it's like cosmetic. Well, he's pretty stingy. So if you, anybody out there want to see my dad, he's a, he's a, he's a great dentist. But man, is he expensive? Yeah, my dentist. my mom wouldn't. My fucking mom got pissed off because uh, she uh she she keeps a lot of shit from my childhood. Yeah. Like I don't know why she just kept you, I all think my. You told me about you did yeah. Baby she kept booties or something. No, she kept all my uh, baby teeth. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she was gonna make like a bracelet out of it. And um, so she finally gave them to me when I moved out. But she didn't want to give me. I had a communion chain, and I told her I wanted to like melt it down to have like one gold tooth. And she got really pissed, and and I never got it yet. So, I mean, I don't know. What what would you guys do with a fucking chain that's like as thin as a, a th- you know a loose thread? I wanted to keep keep my testicle that, but that didn't happen. It, it's called <laughs> it's called. It's called um, health. Speaking of gold teeth, yeah. Yeah, right, right, yeah, just to keep it on topic. Which was, you know, the doctor took my testicle. He wanted that Fabergé c- cancerous testicle, you know. Yeah, it was like, I don't know, honestly. No, but did you, on, did you, I'm not, no joke, s- joke set aside. Did you actually ask him that you want your, te- like, did they, did no, you ask him? No. I asked I, for I my would wisdom teeth. Ask him. Yeah. Yeah. And they wouldn't give me my wisdom teeth. And I was pissed. I was like, yeah. well, they're mine. Did he push any honest with you? I was not supposed to. To have it taken out it it was a kind of the thing that it was a executive decision because it was looking all funky so they, they the doctor made his own decision yeah so um it had to go so i would have asked so if, I, if i had my choice i would have asked this to be a to be a funny like that because one of the you know my favorite comedians that i feel and i saw tom tom Gree, you know yeah we the, talked about this yeah and i, I just like, i you, you know i gotta tell you though you I could see why you wouldn't want to tell him because you got to be a, really careful around doctors. You can't even uh, every little fucking thing they'll take down record, yeah. so they can have an excuse later on if you have a fuck up with your condition. Yeah. Well, you they know, did it, fuck up. They didn't even know I had cancer. They thought it was inflamed, so they kind of did until they. T- well, well, when I came for my MRI, it started snowing, mm-hmm. and they're they're like, "Do you feel sadder or a little bit less uplifting than the other day?" I'm like, "It's cold, and it's the first day. It's fucking snowing." Yeah. Does that make me? suicidal today you know because because they'll look at they'll recommend psychiatrists and shit really my you know what was bullshit is i maybe i should have mentioned this but i had a doctor in cleveland 
that I went to one time in high school. You told me about this. I do remember. Yeah, yeah. and she re-prescribed my, like, the, with epilepsy, if the medication's working, they don't have to, and you're not getting seizures, they don't have to test you. And, they don't, like, as long as they hear about you doing well, they're just going to keep renewing your prescription. She kept renewing my prescription for, like, a fucking decade. Now I go to this new frugal money-grubbing fuck in Chicago who is a recommendation by the one in Cleveland, and she's like, no, you got to come here once a year. You got to come here once a year. You like this person? I, I like her, but, I mean, I don't want to have the thing in the back. You know, you know, that's what people don't understand. I I don't like to personalize things because I don't like to be like, oh, me, 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 but, you know, it fucking sucks. Every single thing you do, you change your job, you change your career, revolves around your disability because it's like, well, what happens if I run out of pills? I'll just keep having electric charges in my brain that cause a seizure. I may end up, I'll wake up either retarded, paralyzed, or dead. Keep with the all wood. What, retarded? Yeah. That's, 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 me, that's, that's not a, that's, that's a real fucking word. What? You're not retarded. No, but I think it's the, meant to be challenged. I'll wake up a vegetable. Thank Is you. that wrong? Yes. But like, it, yeah. It's like something things you should want to say. It's like, you don't want to be called a, a Polak, right? To someone who is in Polis. I well, well you don't I'm apparently I'm a Hawaiian shirt wearing one that looks like a nun. So you don't. So that's what, what the world knows me yeah. as. Well, that makes you awesome. The, the, you just answered your own question. I love being called that, man. <laughs> no, but I don't you know. get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it yeah. It could be offensive. Yeah, but if you're not retarded, then why would you be like offended by that? Because many years people thought I was, so I, I got sensitive to the word. Well. If, Many years, well, a lot of people at my um, I'm not no, I'm not gonna get in a race because a lot of people think I'm Jewish. So people start calling me like Rabbi Philip. I think it'd be kind of awesome. It'd be kind of pimp. Uh, I don't know. I got a friend who's on the spectrum. He's got um, Asperger's, and he takes really like big offense to people using that word. And so just for his what, sake. Well, what's uh? Do you have to say mentally retarded then? I don't know. What's the, I don't. People what's all, what's, what's the autism, proper way? People with autism, not retarded. Well, not it's, everybody who is mentally retarded has autism, though. Yeah, it it just depends on the on the diagnosis. Well, I think, I think the big complaint is people just call each other retards. Yeah, and that's that's a label like of a being slur. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I think you can be mentally retarded, but like using retard as can I seem? I I don't want to end up medically retarded. Yes. Am I being a retard by saying the word retard? No. Well, it's funny you say that because I work with a lot of people with Asperism. The famous Joe Spanos is at, you know, Asperism. And yeah. um, I, and I two other people. And, you know, the, you know, even Asperism is a very, uh, you know, has a... Uh, Asperism. Shut up. Has a very wise, you know... Yeah. Just, um, so it, it just depends on the individual. Yeah. Some people, people, you know, might act, act like a child, like Joe Spanos, and they think everybody's their buddy. And some of them are just, you know, don't have very good social skills, like my buddy Sean, who I work with. He so has it, he has Asperger's. Yeah, but he just doesn't know how to, you know, you know, um, socialize with people very well. He he, he doesn't pick up people's signal, facial signals when they're upset or mad or depressed to, to them. It's yeah. One big um. One big facial expression. If you know what I'm trying to say, uh, Bill. Sure. I don't, <laughs> I don't care about people's facial expressions. So well, you can tell the difference. Uh, oh, sorry. No, <laughs> but I, I don't know. You're the one being offensive right now, Ross. Yeah. That, that's what this all came down to. That's what it all comes out. Every time we have a falling out, you know. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm an asshole. No, but um, speaking of fucked up modern times, so. You guys want to know something real fucked up? I sure do. Um, Gavin, my kid, he came home the other day, mm -hmm. uh, and he was in school. Oh, we were eating dinner, and I, I think I told you guys that, well, it, it doesn't really matter to the story, but I'm trying to get rid of all this shit in our house that is about to expire. So I give him some green cuts, this is what it says on the can. And they got the green beans inside. He's like, Phil, is it, uh, is it okay to eat seeds? Is it okay? I'm like, B Gavin, I was just really fucking tired. I'm like, Gavin, you can eat any seeds, any beans in the world, and you'll be fucking fine. Don't worry about it. Leave me alone. He's like, well, 
Well, I heard, I read, and I saw on YouTube, and I, I heard, I read a thousand facts, and wah, wah, that that if you eat a jewel bag worth of apple seeds, that you can get poisoned. Like Gavin, if you go to school and there's a kid like, oh, I got PB and J, I got pizza, and you go, I got a bag, a jewel bag of apple seeds. Don't be surprised if you get beat up. Okay, you don't. Who the fuck eats a jewel bag of apple seeds? It's not gonna happen. And do I, I don't mean, even know the fit. When we have like the ones you're putting them out he, to spit out. Apple, no, he's saying he's saying he's saying that if you eat enough apple fucking seeds, that you that you'll get poisoned. I don't even know if that's true. But who the hell is gonna do that? When I was growing up, when I was his age, when if you eat a seed, it would grow. Grow. That was a stupid thing. When I was, there was a myth. Yes. Though. And that's yeah. What you're trying to say is a myth too. Yeah, it's a myth. And then and then he goes, oh, yeah. Well, anyways, I'm right, boy. And that's when my white rage <laughs> exploded. <laughs> no, I'm like, because I, I don't know. I get, and I'm he like, said, what? Yo, I'm right, boy. Yeah, he said, right, yeah, I'm right, boy. Why are I'm you like, just, just getting a spanking? A spanking? Because we get kinky later on that night. I'm talking no. about Gavin. So is he. Yeah. What? Wait, you, you're telling me he should have given me a spanking no, while he's no, saying? No, you should have given him a spanking oh, okay. for being just disrespectful yeah. like that. Yeah, no. Well, no, I told him, like, don't say it. I. I I was told I I spoke with a person who, who at my work who's black and he's like he's like you know I'm like I wanted and I was being honest I'm like dude is that like an offensive thing to say he's like well yeah it depends who says it to who because that's what slave owners used to say so it's pretty much the same thing as saying the n word and and I was confused because I used to think that's something that when you say son he's like no a son doesn't matter that's just being an old fuck you know like, the guy like oh well let me tell you this son mm-hmm. it's like that that's okay but saying boy isn't and I had to, and and he's like well what do I say it's a trendy thing to say now and I'm like I don't know call him girl you know it's like the guy from Mount Pumet Emily what's his face yeah boy yeah, what's his name Flavor Flav is that yeah. is, is that kind of like how he said it yeah no I don't, I, don't, I don't think he's saying it because uh. That's the only way I could think how how that thing got in a, a trend, saying boy. I don't well, are you gonna get offended going into a boys' room now? What the fuck does that sign say? Boys' room. Yep. <laughs>